Well, good evening. Welcome to St. Francis Church Communion on Passion Sunday. In something like the style of Taze. Well, somebody said you don't sing it fast enough, but I haven't got the breath to sing Adorama's Te Domine as quickly as they do. So we do it a different way. Let's come before the Lord. As we come before the Lord, we say together, Lord of grace and truth, we confess our unworthiness to stand in your presence as your children. We have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Forgive and heal us. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring you his pardon and his peace, now and forever. Amen. And so as we light the candle here, the Christ light, perhaps if you have a candle you might like to light yours too. As we sing. <laughs> Trust 
Psalm 34, I will always thank the Lord, I will never stop praising him. I will praise him for what he has done. May all who are oppressed listen and be glad. Proclaim with me the Lord's greatness, let us praise his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me, he freed me from all my fears. Find out for yourself how good the Lord is. Happy are those who find safety with him. Honour the Lord, all his people. Those who obey him have all they need. Even lions go hungry for lack of food, but those who obey the Lord lack nothing good. Come, my young friends, and listen to me, and I will teach you to honour the Lord. Would you like to enjoy life? Do you want long life and happiness? Then keep from speaking evil and telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Strive for peace with all your heart. The Lord watches over righteous and listens for Christ. But he opposes those who do evil, so that when they die, they are soon forgotten. The righteous call to the Lord and he listens. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who are discouraged. He saves those who have lost all hope. Good people suffer many troubles, but the Lord saves them from them all. The Lord preserves them completely. Not one of their bones is broken. Evil will kill the wicked. Those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord will save his people. Those who go on to him for protection will be spared. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. The Gospel, Luke 22, 1-13 to The time was near for the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover. The chief priests and the teachers of the law were afraid of the people, and so they were trying to find a new way of putting Jesus to death secretly. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve disciples. 
So Judas went off and spoke with the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard about how he could betray Jesus to them. They were pleased and offered to pay him money. Judas agreed to it and started looking for a good chance to hand Jesus over to them without the people knowing about it. The day came during the festival of unleavened bread when the lambs for the Passover meal were to be killed. Jesus sent Peter and John with their instructions. Go and get the Passover meal ready for us to eat. Where do you want us to get it ready? They asked. He answered, as you go into the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house, the teacher says to you, where is the room where my disciples and I will eat the Passover meal? He will show you a large furnished room upstairs where you will get everything ready. They went off and found everything just as Jesus had told them and they prepared the Passover meal. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
Lord God, on this Passion Sunday, as we begin the final stretch, the last third of Lent, as we move through this week into Holy Week, as we ponder the obedience, the sacrifice of Jesus the Christ, as we ponder our own shortcomings, our own failings, our own weakness and follies. Father, we come before you this night as we break bread and drink wine, as we remember a broken body and wine, which is for us his blood outpoured. Father, we pray for the church in our town, in our diocese, in our denomination and all denominations, in this place, in our nation, in the world, that we would be a right, fitting and healthy body that lives to your praise, to your glory and makes you known in all the earth.
of God who finds out the peace now world. Just behind the tent to the gate. Here comes the corpse with the run. Lord, we thank you for the renewed insight in the leads we connect and find those bridges across the world. We pray that our efforts would not be in vain. Lord, we pray for the parts of our world that are currently engaged in conflict. For Syria, for the ten years of war, for the beginning. Lord, for the places that are still starved. Parts of world where oppressive regimes are in power or fight for power. We hear of the resurgence of the Islamic State. Lord, we pray for North Korea. Those places that have fallen off of our news feed, but where life is still complicated by civil and political unrest. Lord, we pray for men and women of courage, men and women of peace find positions of influence mm. and to make a difference. And Lord, we pray that you would strengthen them and those who are currently incarcerated because they have stood against oppressive, oppressive regimes. Father, we pray for us in the valley and others like him.
Lord, your word says that where hope is deferred, people cast off restraint. Another translation has it that where there is a lack of vision, the people perish. Father, we pray that as the media today brings before the people the words that summer holidays may be deferred and that those who were booked may not be able to go as the news today talks of preparing for the next wave of this virus before us increasingly the people are wanting to reclaim the streets wanting to reclaim their independence to not be locked in not be restricted, not be contained. Father, we pray that we in this nation and in the nations of the world, so beset by this virus and especially for those places that have Ebola and HIV positive before them also, that each nation would act rightly that each nation and its citizens would act to minimize and mitigate the effects of this virus. That each nation, especially those who have purchased many vaccines, more than they need, would share what they have with those who have little or none. Oh Lord, until all are safe in this world no one is safe so father we pray for common sense for a heart attitude that puts the needs and the risks of others first for a nation for nations that will share what they have that all might be safe for when all are safe, we are safe. And Father, as we think of this virus and all that it's been, we lay before you all those who will grieve this weekend, all those who have grieved in the last year, and those who will grieve in days to come. May those who have gone, regardless of virus, age, accident or wrong action may they rest in peace and rise in glory and may those who mourn know the presence the peace and the light of Christ our Saviour by the power of your spirit Lord O oh Lord hear
strength and courage will be with them, and those who love them, and wait with them, and journey with them. Amen, and may the day be an enjoyable life, and a blessed. And may we have the reassurance of eternal life, waiting for them to appear. And their suffering has ended. Father, we gather our prayers and as we prepare for a new week, as we go through all that this week will bring, we pray for those who look and watch and wait. And Father, we look for the day when the Christ returns. Keep us faithful, keep us marching on expectantly, hopefully, living in the realised hope that is Jesus.
as we come to break bread as we come to drink wine we come with the simple words that you would come and fill us Father God we say together our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In the beginning, O Lord, you created us for yourself. But even though we fell through our disobedience to sin and death, in grace, love, and mercy, you sent Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to live among us as a man born of a virgin. He suffered every hardship and adversity, every trial, trouble, tribulation and temptation that we face, and yet was without sin. He stretched out his arms upon the cross in perfect obedience to your will, and offered himself as a sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. On the night on which our Lord Jesus was given over to suffering and death through the betrayal of a friend, he took bread. And after he had given thanks to you for it, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. 
This is my body which is given for you. After supper, he took the cup, and after he had given thanks to you for it, he said, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for the remission of your sins and the sins of the whole world. Therefore, as often as we eat this bread and drink of this cup, we eat the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and we proclaim his death until he comes again. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do also for you. Give us the will to be the servants of others as you were the servant of all and gave up your life and died for us, but are alive and reign now and forever. Amen. May our God, who is, who was, and who is to come, bless us and keep us. May Jesus Christ, the faithful witness and ruler of all nations, make his face to shine upon us. May God the Holy Spirit fill us, inspire us, and lead us now and always. Amen. Jesus. 